Dodge. Come into Dodge and get the brand new Ford F. Oh, son of a. Ha <laughs> ha! What up? What up, my D double O D G? Wait, that's not. What the fuck was I spelling? Is that? Dog shit in the fucking road? What the hell? Dude, who the fuck let their dog shit in the alley? Oh, it's a banana. Anyways, hey guys, it's Kaz. We're back. Cruising with Kaz. Guess what? There's a snowstorm coming in like, oh fuck, I have so many cans. I need to clean this shit. Hold on. Maybe I'll just shove them in the- Oh, it's spilling on me. What's that saying from that movie? Dodgeball with fucking Vince Vaughn. Love Vince Vaughn. I would freaking marry that man. Not in like a physical way. I'm not into, I'm not, I'm straight. First of all, let me throw that on the table. Straight, don't want to do things with Vince Vaughn in any kind of way, but marry Vince Vaughn on a personality level? Yeah, I mean, I think I would love that. I think we would get along great. Honestly, I feel like he likes long walks in the parks. I personally also am a big long walk in the park kind of guy. I also, on occasion though, I mean like the park is cool, but sometimes I like a long walk through the local uranium plant, you know, kind of spice it up a little bit, really give my lungs a run for their money every once in a while. I don't really know. Where, where was I? Dodgeball. We were talking about dodgeball. That's what I was talking about. Speaking of dodgeball, if you ever ran a camp for like little kids, I'm not talking like super little. I'm talking like old enough where they know they're clearly fucking with you, like messing with someone. I got to really choose my words because, you know, you can't, if you put kids and fucking in one sentence, people are going to be like, Anthony, what's going on here? Anyways, there's always that one kid in like a camp or something, if you ever ran one, where they think they're like hot shit and they want to like really like show off in front of their friends, act like this super cool kid or whatever. Let me tell you, if there was ever a time where I was on one team and the other kid was on the other team and, you know, little Johnny wanted to play some fucking dodgeball, look, I'll tell you right now, I'm not afraid to do a little crow hop and bust that little fucker's teeth up. Some people might call it child abuse, I call it teaching a lesson. People got different opinions for different things. Personally, I think that if a little kid's fucking with me, well then, I know what they're gonna be asking for for Christmas, their two front teeth. Anyways, to steer away from child abuse. You know what happened to me today? I'm at the gym. Normal little gym sesh. Nothing weird about it. Doing nothing crazy. I swing the weight up. My knee goes fucking pops. I'm like Oh, I'm like, oh, that can't be good. And literally the dude next to me, he must have visibly seen my knee snap. And he looked at me. He gave me like a look like, dude, what are you doing? And I'm like, dude, don't give me that look. It's not my fault that my knee just snapped like a fucking knuckle. Look, if I knew what was going on right now, I wouldn't, you know, be in my... What was that? Did anybody hear that? Was that me? You know what rattles me to a different extent? The fact that British people, and I know, like, obviously, there's a bunch of other places that also do this, but the fact that their cars are fucking... You drive on the right-hand side of the car, not only does that look so fucking weird, but literally it agitates me to the point where I literally would drop kick the queen. And I'm not putting that... Lightly. I mean, like, that is a full-blown threat. <laughs> Hold on. I did not... Wait a minute. Let me just every, rewind real quick. That is not a threat. I just realized that, like, the queen's kind of important over there, and I don't need any James Bond-looking motherfucker showing up in my bedside at 2 a.m. with a pistol to my forehead. <laughs> Oh shit, oh fuck, I forgot the roads are getting icy because of the thing. Oh my god, dude, I swear, man, you put a camera in front of me, you give me an energy drink, and all of a sudden, I'm driving like a fucking basic white chick on the way to Starbucks. I mean, I don't know what gets into me. I don't know what gets under my skin, you know? I don't know, I don't know how I do it. It's like I get in the car with an energy drink, you put a camera in front of me, and I'm just like, Becky, oh my god, Jennifer, that is, oh my god, did you get ass shots? Bitch, work, oh my god. Oh my god, did you see, bitch? Look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this. Oh my god, it's green. Look at this. Look. Yeah, Courtney got fucking lip filler. Yeah, what a whore. Yo, what the fuck is wrong with people that want to climb Mount Everest? Like, what? What's the game plan? Like, if someone came up to me and they were like, yeah, you know, I climb Mount Everest or whatever, I'd be like... All right. What do you want a fucking medal or something? Like I just, I just thought I would let you know. I uh, climb Mount Everest. What am I supposed to say to that? Like, congrats on walking for a while. Like respect, but also like, what? What are we doing, man? Like another thing. Like, oh yeah, I love to go free climbing with no rope. I just like to fucking climb. It's like, dude. I mean, at that point, no rope. Do you like the adrenaline or do you just want to fucking die? I mean, pick a lane, dude. Are you an adrenaline junkie or do you need therapy? Because I'm pretty sure it's the fucking ladder. Let's just break this shit down a little bit. At the end of the day, a lot of 
of people, they'll look at you and you'll be, oh my god, I'm such an adrenaline junkie. Just really gets me going. It's like, no, no, you're not, Trevor. You just are addicted to coke and you want to die. Adrenaline junkie is like, oh, I like cliff jumping, even skydiving. I'll give that one because, you know, there's not really that many deaths, I don't think, from skydiving. But as soon as you, as soon as you cross, you cross a line, man. When you get to the point of, like, Mount Everest and, like, free climbing for no fucking reason and, like, doing all this shit, it's like, you know what? Call somebody. Get some help. It's a problem. Quit calling yourself an adrenaline junkie and get yourself checked into a fucking clinic because it's concerning, all right? You're scaring the kids, man. You know people that are like, dude, I'm just, what? Hold on. Wait. Back that shit up. These people, they still got their Christmas decorations out? What are you doing? Look, you guys know me. I'm all about Christmas. I'm all about the Christmas spirit. But look, I mean, it gets to a point where you, you just need to take that shit down. It is almost February. You need to figure it out and get your shit together. Also, you know what's a little bit weird? Have you guys seen, I don't know if you've seen this, they came out with a new Christmas decoration for Elf. It's literally just like a life-size blow-up of Will Ferrell as Elf, obviously. Which, if you know the movie, that's funny. But like, imagine if you didn't see the movie for some reason, and you're just like, why do they have a six-foot-four blow-up of a grown man on their front lawn? It's like you just put this blow-up out there, and they're like, is that, is that the man who owns the home? Did he, like, dress up in an elf costume and just decide that he was gonna make an inflatable of himself and put himself on his front lawn? People who aren't claustrophobic scare the living piss out of me. How can you not be claustrophobic even in the slightest? The people are like, yeah, no, it's it's cool. No, put me in a coffin. Lock me in there. I don't, I mean, as long as I got a Wi-Fi connection and some water, I'll be good for a couple hours. Psychotic behavior. You know who really looks claustrophobia in the eyes and just says, suck my little wee-wee? Any astronaut ever. Dude, move over. What are you doing, bro? Turn, make up your mind. What's happening? Oh, no blinker. Ha ha ha. I'm coming later with my baseball bat. <laughs> oh, I hate people. What the fuck? Oh shit, green light. <laughs> fuck you, pussy. Oh, they saw me. You know what, I don't give a fuck. Eat my ass, cupcake. Don't eat my ass like a cupcake. That's not what I meant. Don't eat my ass like a dessert. Eat it and hate it. That's what I meant. I think they heard me. Oh, when I was looking at my phone real quick, my sister sent me a TikTok and it said Gino on TikTok. And I was like, what the fuck? And the reason I said what the fuck was because my dog's name is Gino. Well, he's dead, but that's, hold on. I should have started with that, but no, no, no. Cause I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck? Gino on TikTok, how is my dead dog doing the renegade? But it was just, it was just a guy. Dude, put your blinker on late one more time. Oh my God. I'm going to rip your fucking elbow off and stick it up your ass. You know what? I'm going to start carrying around mock towels. I'm just going to throw those. Holy fuck, dude, that army hammer shit. Dude, he like fully admitted to all of it. Yo, calm the fuck down. Cause normally like if someone's accused of some like out of pocket shit, they're just gonna be like, yeah, no, I didn't do it. But I'm pretty sure he was like asked a question. You know, do you eat people? And he was like, yeah. Yeah, I dip them in some ranch dressing, dip a couple fingers in there, eat them like some chicken nuggets. And they're just like, oh my God. He was like, yeah, you know I mean? You throw a finger in a bowl of soup, that shit gets me going. I don't really know how else to put it. Come on, let me in, let me in, let me, let me in. I'm going. I don't give Fuck. Oh, fuck. Am I in a. Oh, shit. I'm in a fire lane. Oh my gay. Oh, yo. Calm the fuck down, but Oh my god. Is that my uncle? <laughs> oh my god, it is. He loves doing 30 over. Good seeing ya. You know what's funny to think about? Obviously, doctors have to be like professional all the time, right? When they see you and like they're obviously gonna be nice no matter what. Like, no matter what you come in with. I mean, like, you could have the nastiest fucking bunion on your left nut, and the doctor's gonna be like, you know what? I I've seen worse, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like when they get home to their families, does this guy know his trunk's open? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably not. Am I gonna tell him? Nope, that's a him problem. That's not a me problem. But yeah, I love just imagining that like doctors like go home at night and just like talk shit about all their patients. I mean they have to, right? I mean, how can they not? If I was a doctor, I'd come home every day and be like, honey, you would not believe. This guy walked in today, he was like, doc, listen, I definitely messed up my knee, think I tore an ACL or something. And I took x-rays, right, honey, listen to this. I take x-rays, nothing. He goes, now I want an MRI. I take you to MRI, we get the results back, you'll never believe it. Nothing's wrong, he's just a pussy. I know, I know, that's what I said. I was like, dude, seriously, get your shit together. Is your pain tolerance lower than a fucking infant? Anyways, guys, I think I think that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video, turn on post notifications, click that fucking bell so you never miss a video, and share this with everybody you know, okay? This really helps out the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Also, all of my socials are gonna be in the description down below if you wanna go check those out. But other than that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love all of you, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.